Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I hope everyone is doing okay. Well, I'm still off the Diet Coke. So you might be thinking, oh, big deal. You were drinking some Diet Coke. Okay, my habit was the kind of habit that ends you up in a nursing home. And I knew it. And it was very difficult for me to quit. But I did manage to quit. And I know if I drink the stuff again, I may never be able to quit. So I'm drinking anything and everything except for tea. I mean, except for Diet Coke. Like I got this good, oh, this is really, this smells so pretty. So I'm drinking tea. Uh, I don't think I'll be addicted to tea. Let's hope not, but it can be dangerous too. Anything as you get older in excess. When I was a, a nursing student, in the mornings it was uh, pills, it was coffee, and there was something else, laxatives. So that's where I don't want to go. Organ failure, that's not a joke. Okay, this video is if we can get through this summer and if we can save 15 to 20 percent, we can endure the recession. And I'll go into why. Uh, I'll do the content first as I cook. Okay, so the first thing, owie, the first thing I made was some homemade tomato soup. So I got um, tomatoes marked down. Homemade is much better. Here it is. So if you can get your vegetables, your fruits, drastically marked down like I do, it's really, really going to save you money. And I'm just going to put like about a tablespoon of butter in. So let me give you the recipe real quick before I forget. So um, I just shop around and I found these bags of fruit and vegetables. So I plunge the tomatoes into boiling water until the, the peels crack, then I remove them and I um, remove the skin. Then I put them in a pan and I had uh, water. I covered them with water, not too much though. And then I just season with oregano, basil, salt, pepper, and sugar. And uh, then I force them through a metal wire strainer and return to the pan. And when it was essentially done, I added the butter. Okay, what I did was as I was cooking the tomatoes, when they got soft, I mashed them with a potato masher and I forced them through a screen. So we'll move this back over here for now and let it cook down for a minute. Okay. Okay, so the recession is looming, we all know it, but what we don't want to do is panic in any way, shape, or form because that isn't going to do any good whatsoever. So, um, President P from the R country visited Iran. In that visit, they wanted to develop a major energy packet, package between them. The natural gas and oil from Russia will go to China because you need that natural gas for um, manufacturing. And then Russia would help Tehran and possibly Turkey to develop markets that would go to India. So we see the, it's called the Eurasian market. They want to like monopolize this Eurasian market. So, um, and they say, and so this probably had absolutely nothing to do with the trade war because they're saying that this has been in the makings for 10 years, which makes sense. Okay, so, 
Now the Ukraine is under attack and so the Ukraine produces steel, coal, fuel, petroleum, products of barley, corn, and wheat. So we know that the uh, Russians already pillaged the wheat and I think they sent that to China, their best friend. So the so basically the idea was the U.S. sanctions, it was to protect themselves uh, from the U.S. sanctions and to punish the U.S. and um, Europe uh, for supporting the Ukraine. So now what a lot of people are saying, well, the Ukraine is pretty much done for, but some people are saying if the Ukraine, so butter, I'm going to make a grilled cheese sandwich. If the Ukraine can last throughout the summer, chances are maybe they can somehow prevail somehow. So Americans go, well, yeah, we had George Washington and we, pre we prevailed because a lot of people said George Washington was a genius. Uh, basically, I think it's pretty much accepted that he was a military genius. Well, I think it's pretty much accepted that George Washington was a genius. But uh, the other thing is, you know, the issue of uh, God, possibly, um, uh, you know, Zelensky certainly has a backbone, so he's going to make it until September when this, the cold weather starts coming. And we do, too. This is hard to do and talk at the same time. So, okay, so I want to point out something to you. Genesis 4, 12. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be on the earth. Okay, that was a curse that Cain got for shedding innocent blood. So think about these countries. Um, Tehran, Russia, Turkey. So now, if we start to see the curse fall in any way, like floods, famine, um, pestilence, um, did I say famine, drought, floods are very treacherous, heavy flooding rains, icy cold winters. Okay, so you might be thinking to yourself, my gosh, you know, those Russians. No, wait a minute now. We have Alaska, Canada, Mex uh, Alaska, Canada, the U.S., Mexico, and uh, the European nations, except for, you know, the, uh, oops. So, you know, we're hanging on until uh, summer, around September, and we're gonna see what happens. A lot of times things work out and you said, wow, you know, just like the, the COVID, a lot of people died, but a lot of us survived, you know? by being very, very careful. So that's what we want to do. So, um, now, the Ukraine exports to India fats and oils of vegetable or origin, fertilizers, pharmaceutical, electric, elect, uh, electrical machinery. So, you know, they have a lot of export uh you know, the war is not, of, of course, helping anything. So I bought this really good. So now what we want to do is we want to reduce our spending 15 to 20%. I bought this for $2. These, this is a $5 cheese. And this is going to make a good grilled cheese sandwich. So what I'm really doing tonight is I'm making a dirt cheap meal. I banished the birds. I knew they were going to do this. This is a hard video to do because it's a lot of talking. Okay, so we're saying, wow, you know, can the Ukraine hang on until September? We don't know. Nobody really knows. 
Um, but it does appear that they are not they're not just buckling under extreme pressure. So, okay. I have these really good maps, but I can't find them. What? Okay, so now I want to show you something. Okay, here we have, we have Russia to China. I just made some little arrows. And then we have, um, we have the, what is this? This is the Ukraine to India. And of course, you know, so I think really it's possible that they're after the uh, food and resources. So we have to wait and see. So, okay. So the European, uh, the European, uh, the Europeans have said, uh, reduce your consumption of natural gas and oil 15%. And Poland is already in compliance. Why? Because they were under threat of attack from the art country. But, you know, a lot of us are saying, you know, just by um, exercising caution, just by, and so you might be saying, I can't save any money. Okay, so now I want to talk to you about this 20%. I talked to you about this before. So here we go. Okay, we come up here. Let's take $100. We save 20. By the fifth week, you have 100 extra dollars. It could be 15%. It could be 10%. But if it's 10%, it's going to take you twice as many months. Then we come down here to uh, five more weeks, and we have this extra 100. So basically... We're getting into a pattern of an extra hundred and some weeks we might have five weeks in the month. So, you know, by, um, so how can you do this? Well, what you can do is you can like go discount shopping like I do. And you can find these cheap mails. So what, what, what can we do? What the hell can we do? One, stockpile food and non-food. Grow an indoor and outdoor garden year round. Save money and sell anything you can now while people still have money. So now what was I doing today? I think the most helpful thing is when you tell other people what you do. Okay, the first thing I did was discount shopping. Okay, so now, uh, also I bought this to aid myself in the caffeine. Some of these have some caffeine, but I was told years ago to, to taper off on this stuff, and I could not bring myself to do it. But this is not bad if you keep it in the freezer and you get it mostly frozen. Okay, so that's, and then I bought two of these. And these are not too bad if they're really, really cold. Well, I think I bought those for a dollar. Then I bought these to go in my tomato soup because that just happened to taste pretty good. Now, I'm not saying my analysis of what is going on is correct. Ooh, my grilled cheese sandwich is good. But um, it can't help, it can't hurt like Poland who is prepared, basically prepared for the worst. So now let's get my tomato soup. I spent so many weeks finding these, um, what are these things called? Stoneware bowls. I finally found them in a, a Iraq store. I gotta go back over there. They had some nice stuff. Let's see. So this is the good stuff. So. You know, some of you might have gardens. And so what I did was I bought one of these individual size, um, soups and I got them for a dollar. And now I'm having a hard time finding the individual size stuff. And it was like $2 and all it was was basically pretzels and tomato soup. So, turns out, 
I bought these at 99 cents only for $1.99. Any kind of chips is very expensive right now. Anything that contains flour, like wheat, like the Ukraine, are the Russians were buying and are buying up everything. That is so good because the pretzels are not soggy. So I'm not gonna be, uh, this is kind of like a lunch because I still have beef left. So what this really, really is, is a really, really cheap meal. But it's a good meal. I just bought the cheese marked down. Yummy, yummy. I think it helps to um, visualize things if you have like maps. And now, good luck finding any decent maps. I've been trying. I think the the U country is key um, territory wise towards these routes they want to uh, create. Okay, and I made another batch. I got this really good uh, bread recipe, and this is a tasty little batch of banana bread. Uh, today I was eating bread that I made out of uh, pears, cooked pears. That was actually pretty good. Oops, that would work. So if you have uh, these breads, then you're gonna have like uh, fruit. Let me give you the recipe. I just got this recipe. Look, it's very easy with very few ingredients. You can use any kind of fruit. You don't have to use nuts, but I stockpiled a lot of walnuts because I got them very cheap. So the uh, trick is to buy your food very, very cheap. Okay. So the first thing I did was mark down shopping. And the first place I went was uh, Dollar Tree. Okay, so I bought, uh, no I didn't buy that. What I bought there was, uh, this, I thought I'll try it, it's only $1.25. And I bought this, because I can use pretty cheap shampoo and conditioner. I have pretty good, but this leave-in, just a little bit, really helps. So you don't tear your, and I got that for $1.25. And then I got the drinks. Then I went to 99 cent only, and I bought apples, marked down a dollar each. So the trick is, to find your produce cheap. My son grew these and I bought these marked down. So I have plenty of fruit. I'm not much of a fruit eater. Then I went to 99 cent only and I bought these uh, drinks, you know, so that what I have to have is drinks at all times so I don't crack. Last night I drove in the middle of, of the night to 7-Eleven and got a Slurpee. I'm trying to avoid this. I got this curry uh, ramen. I've never tried it. Sometime either next week, I'm gonna make this. Then I discovered these for a dollar at 99 cent only. This is pretty good. And then I have this hot chocolate that I got in a gift box that came with the tea. And also I have some cookies too that came in that. So even though this is very little stuff, this is really going to help me this week. All right, what did I do? Right. 
So then I was working on my garden and I posted it. Um, I was researching uh, small yard landscapes. And so I posted my small yard landscape because anyone could do it. What I have is like a planter box and I planted a garden, so my garden is in there. Then I'm preparing for the swap meet again. I'm not sure if I'm going this week or not, but this time I will be selling stuff for 25 cents each. So what I do is I sold a lot of stuff for a dollar, but I want to blow in and just sell these small items. I have earrings, you know, stuff like that. Now I want to mention about a cargo van. Okay, they're saying a lot of people, especially in California, are ending up living in cars and uh, living in uh, homeless. So, you know, I was thinking, wow, well, you know, a cargo van would make my life so much easier on the swap, when I do the swap meet. Out here, my son bought a really nice shed for $700, but if you can get a cargo van, that's a step up from a car. So I was thinking, what is to stop one from buying these cargo vans, you know, the kind with the doors in the back? because they look like work vehicles, so they're easy to park. Because I'm giving this car living some thought because I don't sleep in my car, but I'm in my car all day long. And so if I did have to live in my car, what I could do is I could pull my car down, since I'm an insomniac anyway, very early in the morning down by the beach or somewhere cool, or somewhere kind of warm, like a parking structure. So these cargo vans could literally be considered tiny homes. So be thinking about that. So we had soup, sandwich, fruit, and nut bread. And we're looking for vegetables, fruit, and nuts at a good price. I bought a lot of nuts at a good price. It's always dangerous to open my freezer. Here's some walnuts I bought very cheap at grocery outlet. So the thing about the uh, nut bread is it gives you a little bit of nuts and it gives you uh, a little fruit and it's good with tea in the morning. Okay, so now I want to talk about cheap drinks. Tea. Oh, they do still have the hundred bag tea bags at Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five. Powdered drinks, I showed you those, and then the hot chocolate. I, I got them in little, um, in little packets. I don't drink them so much in the summertime. So what I'm doing, and if you guys need money, consider this. I'm going through my food, and I'm going through everything I own. And I'm saying, could I sell this for 20, if it's something I don't want, that I would normally donate, could I sell this for 25 cents or even 10 cents or, you know, I could leave it and then someone could take it. So that is what I'm up to. And this 20% thing is going to help. This hanging on until September is like getting through the summer. And then, you know, we'll face the winter, which is probably going to be icy cold in some places when we get there and we're going to be getting there soon but by saving this money you're preparing a, another thing you could actually do is you could save that money for the winter but you also could save that money for the fifth week where you would have two hundred dollars instead of one hundred dollars and fortify your whatever you need you know so, okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.